in this video i'm going to take you through standard form and differential form of differential equations in our previous class we talked about order and degree of differential equation in this class let's take standard form and differential form of differential equation into details let me start with standard form so when we talk about standard form standard form is expressing differential equations in the form y prime is equal to f of x of y what a standard form means is that just make the derivative the subject so y prime will be equal to a function of what x of y so basically is an algebraic form of simplifying a differential equation so that the derivative stands on the left side whilst the rest of the equation stands on the right and that means it has been expressed in standard form now let's take a few examples and see how to express equations in standard form the first example is xy prime minus y squared is equal to zero let's express this in standard form to express this in standard form as you've learned you just need to make this y prime the subject so xy prime will be equal to y squared then y prime will just be equal to y squared on x hence this is the standard form of our differential equation number two i have e x y prime plus e to the power 2 x y is equal to sine of x we have expressed this in the standard form meaning we have to make this the subject right so e to the power x y prime will be equal to sine x minus e to the power 2 x y at this point i can make my y prime a subject by dividing through by what e to the power x hence i'll get e to the power negative x multiplying sine x minus e to the power 2 x y multiplying e to the power negative x so this is the standard form making your y prime a subject and putting it on the left side you are good to go the third example y prime plus y all to the power 5 is equal to sine of the expression y prime on x in this our third example you realize that our y prime cannot be algebraically be separated for that reason this equation cannot be expressed in the standard form for that reason note that not all equations can be expressed in the standard form on this note let's move to the differential form when we talk about differential form what do we mean by differential form to express a differential equation in the differential form all that you need to do is to group it m of a function x of y dx plus n of a function x of y dy is equal to zero once you express it this way by grouping a function dx and a function dy then it is in the differential form let's take an example so you see so let's express y multiplying y y prime minus one is equal to x in differential form so to express this in differential form first of all we will first express it in the standard form so you get y y prime multiplying this y so this will be y squared minus y is equal to x so my y squared y prime will be equal to x plus y right and at this point i'm going to get y prime to be equal to x plus y all over y squared once i do this you know that y prime is the x over the y is that not sorry the y over the x will be equal to x plus y over y squared then i cross multiply 
when I cross multiply, I will get the y y squared is equal to the x x plus y. So the standard form is saying that we have to move this back there so that we get x plus y the x minus y squared the y is equal to zero, and this gives us our differential form. Thank you for joining this class. Please subscribe to support. Don't forget to like and subscribe.